That's five straight free throws the Wildcats have missed. Nash gets it to Woolery. The Broncos the ball and a three-point lead. They wanted to give a foul that time, Arizona. Nash. Oh, he threw it behind Dunn. The freshman cost his team there. Arizona will foul John Woolery if Santa Clara gets the ball back, and they're still behind. The possession arrow still in the Broncos' favor. Each side with a couple of timeouts. Santa Clara will have to make one and ones when they are fouled. Mills double, oh, and he will go to the line. Lewis thought he had hung tough. He picks up the foul. Dwayne moved his feet, maintained a very nice defensive position between Chris Mills and the basket. I thought Chris was going to have to finish that drive with a tough shot because he did everything properly. Dwayne Lewis did. Got a hand up, but he fouled him with the body. Mills for two. His club trails by three. Down three. Luke was up that time giving instructions to go after John Woolery and foul him. They're down one or two. I'm sure he'll take that off. It's a one-point game. Nash gets doubled. Gets it to Woolery, ahead to Eisenrich, over to Dunn, into Lewis. And he's going to take it back out. Nash, the dish, Lewis, good fake. Oh, it doesn't go. Reef, Dunn, got it. Kevin Dunn, the freshman, with the biggest basket of his young life. And Arizona. to go. 58 to 55. Santa Clara, the three-point lead. Just under 49 seconds to go. Arizona with one timeout left. The possession arrow still belongs to Santa Clara. Chris Mills will inbound. And Lute Olsen hoping what happened last year doesn't happen again. Arizona with Stoudemire looking to find Mills. Mills is going to take a three. No rebound. Taken down by Woolery. Gets it to Nash. And he's fouled by Geary with 31 seconds to go. The Broncos of Santa Clara, seeded 15, looking for the second time in NCAA history to knock off a number two seed. Last year, a loss to number 14 East Tennessee State when Arizona was a three seed. Right now, they are looking at a loss to a number 15 seed. Nash, the freshman, makes the free throw. This is a game where Santa Clara jumped all over Lute Olsen's club to begin this game, led by 12, then were outscored 25 to nothing. Trailed by 13, but never gave up Larry Palmer. Oh, they didn't, and Nash has got ice water in his veins. Those are two big ones, huh? Big ones. He's gone from being a freshman to a sophomore, <laughs> two free throws. And that is not something that Dick Davey wanted. A foul with 27 seconds to go. A look around the country coming up next. East Carolina, North Carolina playing their opening game. LSU and Cal should be a good one. And Larry and I will be here for Missouri and Temple. Seton Hall opening their NCAA play against Tennessee State. Stoudemire will shoot two. His club down five. Arizona's got to score these two points here with the clock stop. Go to some sort of full court press. Go after the basketball, hoping that if there is slight contact, the officials won't call it when they have a chance for a steal. But nevertheless, go after the ball to not allow a lot of time to take off the clock so they get another possession. Arizona has made one of their last 15 field goals. Stoudemire rolls in the free throw. It is a one possession game at 60 to 57. Eisenrich will inbound. Gets it into Nash. Nash is fouled immediately, and if that's Reeves, he's gone. Oh. 
Nash can't get to the free throw line fast enough. <laughs> Back to that ice water. He wants the ball. He wants to get fouled. He made a terrific move. He faked away and cut hard to the basketball. There was no denying him the ball on that inbounds pass. Steve is from Victoria, British Columbia. The assistants told us yesterday they had heard about this kid. They went to check him out. They watched him play for about 10 minutes and they started looking around the gym, going, like, Is anybody else here? There wasn't. And he came to Santa Clara. You hear about those stories. But not too often, you know, the recruiting network in our country is so very, very good, but there's one that slipped through the cracks. Make some both. And Arizona will use their final timeout. Mike Gorman and Larry Farmer at the John Huntsman Center here in Salt Lake City, Utah. A major upset brewing. Number 15, Santa Clara, about to take out the Arizona Wildcats, barring a miracle finish. 20 seconds to go in the game. And Woolery is called with a foul running into Geary. Reggie Geary setting a screen. John Woolery ran into him. And the Cats get a chance to score with the clock stops. Woolery and Steve Nash have got to communicate on that. That was a guard to guard high screen outside the three point line. And the easy thing to do on that is just to switch. So maybe defensively you don't have the perfect matchup, but you don't charge and you still got the ball outside the three point line. And viewers waiting for Seton Hall. We will have that game coming up against Tennessee State. They are just underway. We'll be taking you to that in just about 18 seconds or so. Right now, Dick Davies Club looking to pull off the upset of the opening day of action. Coach Luke, that time, reaching into his bag of tricks. He's got a player that he does not want on that free throw line. And so he brings in Dylan Rigdon. And the junior will shoot the free throw. He's got two. That's tough position to be in coming off the bench. The lead is five. Ray O's looking to come back in. Rigdon makes the second. Reggie Gear, a freshman that time, he, he drew the, the charge. Hurt his arm on the play, but you don't know if he was really designed for him to step up and shoot those free throws. And there's the foul given immediately by McLean. He gave it to Steve Nash, though. Nash has been more than equal to the task at the free throw line. Look at him, he's up there waiting. Don't you love it? I mean, he just gets it in high gear. He gets up to that free throw line. He wants that basketball. At the line for Santa Clara number 11, Steve Nash. Nash. Two. Nash with eight points, six of them from the line. That didn't touch iron. Freshman will drive you crazy, won't they? Oh, what a big time performance at the strike. Stoudemire, nobody home on the pass. Now Mills. A major league three, and the Wildcats get their final timeout. It's a three-point game with eight seconds to go. The Coach big Dick thing right now, Larry, working on those inbounds plays to get the ball back inbounds. Coach Dick Davey spent that entire timeout telling his team, we've got to get the ball inbounds, probably with good screen up front, and make sure we get it to a player that can shoot free throws would be Nash if they could and Eisenrich knowing he had another timeout decides to burn it right there. We'll be back. Eisenrich will inbound the basketball or at least attempt to. They throw it long, Nash is open, and he's fouled immediately by Stoudemire with seven seconds to go. 
Interesting switch that time. Mills had Nash if he went to the basket, but he faked and released. And for viewers around the country looking for Seton Hall and Tennessee State and North Carolina and East Carolina, we'll be getting you out there shortly, but history is being made here as the number 15 seed Broncos of Santa Clara. Oh, he finally missed one. Now, this is the critical one. It's a three-point game. Santa Clara trying to send the Wildcats of Arizona home. Oh, that one's off, too. Loose ball. Dunn's got it. And he's fouled with five seconds to go. The chance was there. The Davey immediately calling Steve Nash over second. Don't worry about it. We would not be in this position if it wasn't for you. Now get out there and play some defense. Now it will be Kevin Dunn, another freshman at the free throw line. Dunn, a 47% free throw shooter over the course of the season. And again, here comes the critical one as it's a three-point game. He needs to take a deep breath. He's going to remember this shot for the rest of his life. Put it right over the front of the rim. Missed it. Rebound, Stoudemire. Arizona's got a chance. Stoudemire. No. Tipped out. Santa Clara wins. So for Larry Farmer, I'm Mike Gorman saying so long from the John M. Huntsman Center where the final score, Santa Clara 64, Arizona 61.